One more thing before we really get rolling here. I want to talk about a website called MDN, Mozilla Developer Network. MDN is just about the closest thing to an official documentation for JavaScript that we have. If you watched the video where I talked about ECMA and ECMAScript and different versions and new features and, and how there's not really an official JavaScript that we can just go download, that it's really a, an implementation of this ECMAScript spec across different browsers, that's the same reason we don't have one official documentation. It's not like uh, a language like Python, where you can go to python.org Python and see the docs for Python 2 or Python 3. With JavaScript, things are a little murkier, but MDN is a really good resource. So this is what it looks like, developer.mozilla.org. Uh, what I do, if I'm ever Googling something, and I, I'm trying to understand how a feature works in JavaScript, or I can't remember uh, the name of a particular method, I'll Google and add MDN at the end of my Google search so I get these search results. So just as a, a quick example here, um, we go to references and guides. There are some tutorials here, but if you go to technologies and you look at JavaScript, this gives you a whole reference of pretty much everything in JavaScript. If we talk about arrays, which we will shortly in the course, if you go to the array page here, there's all sorts of information and tons of links about all the different things that arrays can do. So you'll see me reference MDN quite a bit in this course, and I just thought I should take a moment to address it, introduce the idea of MDN. Remember, it's not an official documentation for JavaScript. It's put out by Mozilla, the company that makes Firefox, and it's just a great resource for learning JavaScript, but it's also an invaluable reference for existing developers and maybe teachers who are teaching Udemy courses who need to refresh their memories on certain things. So you'll see it a lot in the course.